guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video on Nasha Vlogs. So today's video, as you can see in the title, is what could Drayton Manor's next coaster investment be? Now, before we go into my top three predictions on what their new coaster could be, firstly, I want to say we don't have a confirmed date when a coaster is coming. But a bit, bit of backstory, uh, Drayton Manor has not had a new coaster, as some of you will know, in nine years. And what was their last coaster investment, I hear you ask? It was the Ben 10 Ultimate Mission Coaster. Now, obviously, uh, this coaster is now called Accelerator. Uh, it opened, first opened in 2011 as Ben 10 Ultimate Mission. It was known at that as Ben 10 Ultimate Mission for five years before, in 2017, being renamed to Accelerator. Uh, now, Accelerator is a Vacoma family boomerang, uh, 185 metre um, uh, model. It has a track length of 606.9 feet, it has a height of 65.6 feet, and it has a top speed of 37 miles per hour. Now, at the time when Accelerator opened, I'm gonna ref uh, I'm gonna refer from calling it by its old name because it's now known as um, Accelerator, so I will be referencing it as Accelerator. Uh, but when it when it opened, it was the UK's first Vacoma family boomerang to be installed. So it was the first ever one of those type of rides to be stored in the UK. And it, it wasn't long until we got a second one, which of course was one that I personally enjoy doing. And that, of course, was Velociraptor, or as I refer it as Raptor which opened in May 2016, five years after uh, Accelerator at... P Enough about that. As I was saying, Drayton Manor's last investment was Accelerator nine years ago, which I know this may sound like me being a dick, but it slightly annoys me that, you know, you get all these people who moan about Fort Park not having a new coaster investment in eight years since the Swarm, which is a B&M wing coaster, Yet, Drayton Manor hasn't had a new coaster in nine years, which was a Vacoma family boomerang, and no one's moaning about it. Bit weird, eh? So, I thought I'd take the liberty of predicting three potential things that could be their new coaster. But first off, let's talk about the location. So, the location of this potential new coaster investment would have to be the site of where G-Force was. If you did not know about G-Force, uh, it was a Mara Rides X-Car uh, coaster. It was the only one ever to be built in the UK. Uh, it opened in 2005 and spent the 2019 season SBNO and was finally removed uh, this year. However, obviously this then sparked uh, interest into what could replace it. Now, you got to think, G-Force was, from looking at it, quite a compact coaster. So whatever would be going in place to replace G-Force would have to be quite a compact coaster. So, we're going to kick off the, three, the top three predictions that I personally think could be replacing G-Force as Drayton Manor's newest coaster investment so let's start with number three so the prediction for me at number three that i think we would place g-force is a b&m family inverted coaster now why do i think this firstly they could make a really compact layout out of this or they could expand maybe a little bit over the lake maybe if they wanted to no, but there's a main reason why I choose this is because if Drayton Manor was to build a B&M family inverted coaster, it would be they'd be able to claim it as the UK's first B&M family inverted coaster, as only two have ever been built, both under the name family inverted coaster, 
and they are both at Happy Valley in China. Now, obviously, you know, they can have, they can make it a really compact layout. And I think if they had one of those, they'd be able to take the UK's first title, which would then bring loads of guests to the park. So that's at number three. So at number two, what do I think the second most likely could be? So the second most likely ride that I think could replace GeForce is an SNS L Loco. Now, reason why, once again, uh, this can be quite a compact ride and also it would be quite a thrilling ride, which is something Drayton Manor needs. They need a ride that is quite thrilling. Obviously, uh, when they, if they decide to go with this, that means they would have this UK's second ever SNS uh, L Loco, with the uh, other one being at Flamingo Land, also known as Mumbo Jumbo, which opened in 2009. Uh, just a bit of information about Mumbo Jumbo, opened 11 years ago. Uh, it has a height of 98 feet, has two inversions, which are a dive loop and an inline twist. It has a vertical angle of 112 degrees. It has a maximum G-force of four. Now, if they were to build an SNS L Loco, I think it would suit the area because, as I've said before, the SNS L Locos are quite compact layouts, or they can have quite compact layouts. And I think it would be pretty cool for Drayton Manor to have a SNS L Loco. I've only just noticed the lighting is now starting to go because I'm currently recording this when it's starting to get dark. So um, I'm going to try and wrap up this video as quick as possible. But it's time for the number one prediction that I think could potentially be replacing GeForce. And what is that I hear you ask? Well, so the most likely thing now I think that will replace GeForce is a Vacoma SFC, also known as a suspended family coaster. Now, I know I've already said potentially a B&M one could be coming, but the reason why I'm saying a Vacoma one as well is I think what would be great is if Drayton Manor was to install a clone of Flight of the Pterosaur at Poulton's Park because Flight of the Pterosaur is such a good coaster and I think it, it would be great for that sort of market. Uh, obviously, just a couple of facts about Flight of the Pterosaur. It has a track length of 1,312.3 feet of track. It has a height of 65.6 feet. It has a top speed of 34.2 miles per hour. No inversions. It has a ride duration of just over a minute. And it has a maximum G-force of 2.5. And it has a capacity of 650 riders per hour. I'm just going to simply say a Vacoma SFC would work so well in that area. Even if they didn't go for like a clone of Flight of the Tail Sword, they could have quite a compact layout. So guys, uh, that's it. Um, that's what I think will be potentially Drayton Manor's next coaster investment. Let me know what you guys think down below. I've got uh, some ideas for other parks as well. So um, let me know what you guys would like, what parks you'd like to see me do predictions of, and I will do it. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nasha. This has been another video on Nasha Vlogs. Guys, comment down below your thoughts. I, I'd like to hear what top three you'd like to see, potentially, as Giant Man's next investment. Guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.